Hello everyone, my name is Patty High. I'm the Assistant Public Health Coordinator here at the Ocean County Health Department, and I have a wonderful guest with me here today. Maria, could you introduce yourself? Sure, my name is Maria LaFace, and I'm the Director of the Ocean County Office of Senior Services. Uh, basically, we are in charge of providing the support services that seniors need to stay in their homes and live independently. Wonderful. Um, with novel coronavirus occurring now, do your seniors or older adults have any information that, that they'd like to know from the health department? Absolutely. One of the main questions is how is it being transmitted? Sure. So novel coronavirus is currently being transmitted through what's called respiratory droplets. So it's going to be the small droplets that come from your nose or mouth when you cough, sneeze, or speak. That's the primary means that people are contracting it. Thank you. And then the other question is how do we protect ourselves from it? Absolutely. So one of the best recommendations is continuing to keep your distance. It may include things like staying at home, um, staying away from, from public spaces where people may be sick, and then obviously always practicing good hand hygiene and, and social distancing. We can get you some additional information at the end of this video related to what those best tips are in greater detail. Well, thank you. One of the things that we've already done is we have closed down any support groups, our congregate meal sites, and anywhere where seniors would gather. To, to engage in, in that social distancing that you've just discussed. Um, other questions really are, should we be going out? Uh, are there things that we should be purchasing in preparation for staying in the home? Mm -hmm. Those are the other questions we're hearing. Those are great questions. Um, so from the health department side, what we would recommend is that individuals always remain prepared. So um, if you currently do not have a stock um, of two weeks of, of food, um, supplies, water, we would recommend that you attempt to obtain those from your local um, grocer or store. Um, please make sure that you try to maintain that distance if you're out doing shopping. We know that there are a lot of individuals doing so right now. Um, prescription medications is one thing to also keep in mind. Um, seniors are currently able to obtain 90 days um, of maintenance medication from their pharmacies with their doctor's prescription. We would certainly recommend that. So those are key steps that you could take now. The hope is, is that by taking those now, you would be able to stay home um, during the next couple of weeks or months in a way to best protect yourself. Thank you. And what is the distance that seniors should keep if they do go out to the store mm -hmm. or they are out with family? How far should they keep? So ideally, if individuals can keep six feet from another person, that is best. Within three feet is your greatest risk. Um, however, if possible, um, maintaining a six foot distance would be preferred. And how about the masks? Everybody wants a mask. Is there any validity to getting a mask and it's going to protect you? Sure, we understand that. We know a lot of people are trying to do what they can to protect themselves. Um, at this time, a mask is not recommended by the CDC. Masks are intended to protect well individuals from those that are sick. So if you are sick and have access to a mask um, and needed to go into the public or if you have other well individuals within your home, we would recommend that as a sick individual, you mask yourself to prevent um, your sickness from going to others. If you are a well person, we do not recommend that you wear a mask. It may actually um, influence your ability to breathe as deeply or as clearly as you need to. So at this time, we do not recommend masks for the majority of the general public. And if they are out at the store, what are the symptoms of the coronavirus? What medications, over-the-counter medications, should they purchase or should they purchase them? Sure, so the common symptoms that we see with novel coronavirus, um, they are similar to flu-like symptoms. They're gonna start with things like a dry cough, um, a fever or a headache. As your immune system or your body begins to fight the illness, you may experience some muscle pains, some fatigue, some soreness. It may move into your lungs where you experience shortness of breath. For those that have underlying chronic health conditions or are over the age of 60, you may experience more moderate symptoms, um, things like uh, a progression into pneumonia or other illnesses. We would always strongly recommend that you reach out to your primary care physician if your symptoms worsen to make sure that you're well. Okay. Did I answer all of that question? You absolutely answered all that question. Great. The next question I think is where do we go if we have these symptoms? What do we do if I start to feel what you've just described? Absolutely. So we would recommend that you follow up with your, your physician first. Your physician may or may not say that they're able to test you. If that's the case, if they're not able to test and they believe that you should in fact be tested, which again should be the decision of your, your health care provider. Um, there are some um, urgent care facilities that are capable of testing. If your illness is progressing to be a moderate or severe illness, your doctor may refer you to a local hospital for additional follow-up just to manage those symptoms as well as receive testing. 
At this time, there is no treatment for corona, the novel coronavirus. Um, the treatments are going to be supportive treatments like fever reducing medication, cough suppressants, um, potentially sore throat relievers. So we want to make sure that you're able to get lots of rest, drink pl plenty of fluids, and remain separated from other individuals that are still well. And how long can they expect to be sick if in fact they are uh, positive for the coronavirus? Sure. So it may depend on your own immune system. What we are seeing is that most individuals may have a duration of illness that's anywhere from about five days um, upwards to, to about two weeks. Um, if your symptoms are more severe, your body may obviously take longer in order to resolve those symptoms. And that's where we would want you to work in conjunction with your doctor to make sure that you're being followed clinically appropriately. And I think what would be helpful for us to know, is there a hotline or a phone number that uh, our seniors can call or their caregivers for assistance? Yes, absolutely. So we are very invested in providing real up-to-date information every day. Here at the Ocean County Health Department, we have established a coronavirus hotline for the general public, our seniors, our doctors, whoever needs additional information related to this. You can reach us at 732-341 nine seven zero zero extension seven four one one if you'd like to email us a question we can answer that way as well at covid at ochd.org that's c o v i d at ochd.org wonderful that's very helpful i think i should probably give them my phone number at this point uh, for anybody who is a senior and may need supportive services our phone number at the office of senior services is 732-929-2091. And uh, if you give us a call and you need our assistance, we'll be there for you.